John 8.57 Dixerunt ergo iudai adeum, quinque ginta annos nondum abes, et Abraham vidisti? Therefore the Jews said to him, You do not yet have fifty years, and you have seen Abraham? First of all, let's note that this is a question. And secondly, the main thing to talk about here, we've got a typical speech formula, perhaps of minor note, ad eum, instead of the equally common e, in terms of indicating who's being spoken to. But the main thing to talk about here is this construction, quinquaginta anos non dum habes, habeo plus an accusative phrase indicating a certain number of years is the typical way of indicating age. Now, what's most extraordinary about the question that they're asking here is, of course, Abraham has been dead for a very long time. How is it possible that Jesus, who's well short of his 50th birthday during these events, could possibly be claiming to have seen Abraham? And this is going to receive a spectacular answer in the next verse. But before we get there, we might just note there's two ways to talk about age commonly in Latin. One way is this way. So again, habere plus accusative anos, certain number of years. The other way to do it is to use a form of esse plus genitive, let's say, anorum of years. Okay, so you could say you are, uh, let's say, a weir est octoginta anorum. You are a man of 80 years, literally. That is to say, you're an 80-year-old man. That's how you'd say that. Now, this numeral word is going to be indeclinably ablative in this kind of construction, so don't worry about that. Here's the real thing that you want to notice. We're going to use the genitive case of year together with a form of essay. But both this and this mean exactly the same thing, and going all the way back into Roman classical antiquity, both were used interchangeably.